uh, Rishi ji, I want to shift focus slightly now and you know talk about you know something that we talked about in the beginning and some uh, that is the big picture you know of regarding Vedic culture. Uh, I mean, it has a like we've spoken so much about the rich heritage and the living traditions um, that continue to enhance people's lives. Um, if we were to look at it from a global perspective, um, can you tell us how it can contribute, uh, you know, towards making the world uh, a better place? You know, Kamal, this, I come back to this, this is not praying. In the Vedic civilization, this does not mean I'm praying. It doesn't mean I'm afraid. And it doesn't mean I'm asking for something. This does. You shouldn't go dehi, dehi, dehi. That's rude. Yes. If I met you and you were wealthy and the first thing I said was, give me money, give me money, give me money, you wouldn't think I was very good material to become a friend. Yeah. You'd think I was pretty desperate and ignorant and you might throw me a little bit of money, but you wouldn't think, yeah, that's going to be my new best friend. Yeah. You see? So... A give me, give me, give me relationship to the divine is not a very intelligent relationship. Yes. But what if we are all immortal beings who cannot die? That we have two choices while we're in a body. We could fall over this way to the right or this way to the left. We have a creative department yes. and we have a recycling department. Yes. You know, in India, if you hand someone food with your left hand, what's the problem? Yeah. What is it? I, think, I mean, just something that is not encouraged. Well, if you think of your living in nature, if you don't know which hand you eat with and which one you clean your butt with, <laughs> then you're confused. Yes, yes, yes. You wouldn't want to go to the toilet and with the same hand start grabbing dinner. Yeah. Yeah. So it was very intelligent. Yeah. We know that as the left hand is used for cleaning yes. and the right hand is used for eating. Mm -hmm. And if somebody hands you food with their right hand, you might accept it. If they do it with their left hand, you'd say, sorry, I had lunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Oh, thank you. Yes. So what if both of these are necessary, but they're unbalanced? Uh, if I talk to you this way, the whole show, that's <laughs> unbalanced. Yes. If I talk to you this way, that's unbalanced. Mm -hmm. This is Vishnu and Lakshmi. Okay. This is Vishnu, health, Lakshmi, well-being, not money, whatever provides you well-being, food, shelter, clothing, med medical help, whatever it is, education, things that give you well-being and give you balance is Vishnu and Lakshmi. So the Vedic Sanatana Dharma culture is a culture trying to stay in balance, number one. So that's part of what this means. The second is na, ma, te. Yes. Not me, you. Na, ma, te. That's one of its meanings. So it's a moment that's not about me, it's about you. I'm acknowledging you as an adventuresome, amazing divine being who's on this long journey into the material world all by yourself, just like I am. And I'm looking at you and saying, I see how great you are. I see that you're an immortal being too. And my wish is that we stay in harmony with each other. This is the namaste culture. Yes. Yeah. So in some civilizations, there's a handshake. In the black culture, it's high five, low five. Yeah. I was born in Detroit, so I had a lot of friends who were black. And this was a way to say hello, high five, low five. So I call this high 10, low 10. Mm -hmm. This means I see you as an atma. I see that you chose to be on this long journey like I did. I respect you immensely for that. I will not violate your space or your individuality. I acknowledge that you're worthy of respect. I'm not looking at your clothing, your skin color, 
your gender, none of that, just the real you, the Atma inside, the conscious spark of immortal reality. And I am showing you respect. Now, I guarantee you that if the whole world started doing that all day long, then every time they had a quarrel, they'd come back to that person and say, sorry about that, I lost my temper. I, I respect you. They would start correcting themselves. They wouldn't hate people. They, we wouldn't have to explain that Black Lives Matter. It, imagine there was a television commercial and it said Black cars are okay. Right. You'd say, what a stupid thing to, to make a commercial about. Yeah. If I like a black car, I'll get one. If I like a red car, I'll get one. If I like a white car, I'll get one. But the cars are fine, black, white, red. So if cars are fine that way, why aren't people that way? Yeah. Why are we so foolish as to look at people with different markings and hood ornaments and kinds of skin and say, I hate you, I think. That's so unintelligent. Yeah. Haven't you spoken to them? Didn't you see that there's a being inside there? Yeah. So I would like to say to you that really coming in from the outside, this is the one thing the world is missing. Yeah. I don't care how they find their way back <coughs> to where they came from originally. That's their journey. But if we all just start respecting, not just humans, all the animals, everything that exists is an atma, all of it deserves our pronouns. Yes. So in a namaste culture, 80% of our problems would be solved. We couldn't colonize. We wouldn't like fighting wars. We would hate killing civilians. So I don't call the Mahabharata war story yes. because they, they weren't killing civilians. They weren't bombing cities like Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Did you know that President Truman in the United States said, I hope God is pleased with us for dropping these bombs on Japan. He actually said that out loud. So are you suggesting that all the Japanese are some kind of animal or insect or something? And that God doesn't care about them at all, but just cares about you and you exterminating hundreds of thousands of innocent people is going to get the approval of the being who is their source? Can you think of anything more absurd? That is, but that's what he said, it's a, it's a historical quote. So God bless America, while we bomb innocent women and children, really? What about namaste? What about that as the basis of culture? So just saying hello in the Vedic civilization to me solves at least half the problems. And therefore it answers the other questions about, do we have a caste system? And do we have these things that make other people despicable because of their birth or their skin color, whether from the North or the South? And the answer is no, not if you're halfway educated. Not if you look at someone and say namaste. So then how can you have a lesser concept of them than that? So to me, because I was missing this vitamin when I was born, I, I think you could say coming in from the outside showed me how truly important this one is. And I'll just add with one more thing, you know, the handshake in Western civilization? Yeah. I bet you don't know where that started from. Yeah. Yeah. So when two persons were walking down a trail in ancient times, the trail's pretty narrow. And if they have weapons, they have a sword and a dagger. Okay. So to show that they weren't going to fight, they would hold out their sword hand, their right hand, okay. and grasp the other person's sword hand. Okay. Then they would put their left hand on my wrist and I would put my left hand on their wrist. Okay. So now we're holding each other's hands. Yeah. So we can't grab our dagger or our sword. Yeah. Then we would turn around on the trail because we're going to go past each other. So now we've gone past each other. Then we would release our hands and back up three feet and continue walking. So the Western handshake is so I don't stab you. Namaste 
is so that I see who you really are. Absolutely. So that tells you the difference. Absolutely, uh, you see, that's really beautiful. Uh, and I think something that, that can change so many things, like you said. Namaste. We hope you enjoyed this Chitti Media content. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyavad. Namaskar.